holiday season is here, and you know what that means. Your social media feed is about to be filled with family and friends that are showing off their matching Christmas PJs. But if you really want to stand out, I got the hookup for you. How about Christmas PJs that are actually for the culture? They're festive, they're cozy, and the best part, they are black-owned. Joining me now, the brains behind the brand. We got Vanessa Baird-Streeter and Dallas Streeter. They are the CFO and CEO of PJs for the Culture, respectively. All right, family, it's good to see y'all. I'm happy to see y'all. Y'all looking fresh and clean. The skin is glowing. Y'all looking holiday ready. And y'all got a hot business going right now. What is it like having a mom and son business? First. Well, I have to tell you, it's enjoyable to be able to work with my son and alongside him. He's the CEO, though, so I have to listen to him, which is sometimes a cause of concern for me. <laughs> but I have to say that he provides great guidance, great insight. And I think really, too, the two different generations working together, we really end up coming out and coming up with a great product and great marketing for our product. Man, is, what's it like being CEO of your mama? <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I could say... um. It's really great because I actually, um, this entrepreneur, entrepreneurial spirit comes from my mom. So she has three and four other businesses on top of her day job. So it's kind of just me paying homage to her and, you know, trying to follow in her footsteps as we go through this life, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's a great inspiration <laughs> to a lot of us to see families working together, to see a young man like you having an idea and making the word flesh, as they say. What inspired this pajama line and, and the name? All right, so uh, the pajama line was kind of inspired by real life events, you could say. Um, I was coming home from school. I went to Howard University. I came home from school one um, winter break. And my mom had uh, Christmas pajamas for me, my mom, and my dad. So we had a full set of family Christmas pajamas. And at that age, I wasn't really feeling the Christmas pajamas, you know? So I was like, why, why are we wearing a white Santa? We, we should have black Santa Christmas pajamas. And then she went looking for them, couldn't really find it, and we kind of stumbled on a great idea. Wow, that's and, a great, great, and great idea for all kinds of reasons. Go ahead, go ahead, jump on in, I'm sorry. And it's funny because, um, you know, all along, from probably the age of five, I tried to buy matching Christmas pajamas and really couldn't find anything that was representative of our culture or that we could see ourselves um, in the figures that were on um, the pajamas. So right after, this, uh, right after Christmas, we decided, we were like, okay. He's like, mom, we're gonna create a company. I was like, what are we gonna call it? So we sat literally for about five minutes and I was like, it's gotta have PJs in it. And he's like, well, it's gotta have for the culture in it. So I was like, okay, PJs for the culture. <laughs> I love that. That's what happened. Teamwork make the dream work. But it's not just Christmas pajamas. You also have special pajamas uh, for children as well. Tell us uh, what makes those different. Yeah. So um, last year, um, after our Christmas launch um, for Juneteenth, we were thinking about um, what could we launch for Juneteenth because it is a, a for the culture brand. So on Juneteenth is a very uh, important day to our culture. So we thought that we could. Um, make something for the children. Um, and it's kind of like an affirmation based pajama, really. Um, the pajama has a little girl on it. Um, it says princess under it. And it says above her, I hail from kings and queens. They have influenced the world. And then next to her is kind of like a mantra that she's supposed to say to herself or her parents say to her before she goes to sleep. And it says um, navigation, we designed it. Medicine, we created it. Mathematics, we invented it. The pyramids, we built them. I am black excellence. So it's kind of just oh, reaffirming to yourself. I love that. Where they come from, what uh, greatness we come from, you know, all of these things that we have now are kind of because, of because of us, we were the first to create civilizations and all these different things. So it's just... Man, I can tell you went to Howard, man. That's that That's that H-U <laughs> Africana <laughs> Studies, Greg Carr, Dr. Carr. That's, 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 that, Dr. I, Carr. I, I, that's Dr. Carr. Yeah, I could tell. See, I ain't even, I ain't even asked you about Dr. Carr, and I could hear Dr. Carr all up in your sentences, man. That's why I love H. I'm a, I'm a Howard husband, so I, I know all about it, man. Look, how can people buy your pajamas? Okay, so you can go to our Instagram at PJs for the Culture. No spaces, no underscores, anything. Just straight at PJs for the Culture. 
and you can find everything there. And then it'll take you to our website as well. And our website is www.pjsforthaculture.com. And so you can find a myriad. We have 10 different collections. Um, we really tried to create also a pajama that was really for the men in mind because yeah. men really don't want to wear matching pajamas. So our pajamas, you got a hood, you got pockets. It's a jogger style. Nah, you, understand. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you understand. You understand from top to bottom. I love y'all. And I love the combination. Y'all really do make the magic happen together. That's what family's about, y'all. Vanessa Baird Streeter and Dallas Streeter, they just joined us with an amazing business. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you support black folk and black business. Stand on business. All right, family, we have reached the end of the show. But before I let you go, tonight we had Rich Paul on, a self-made NBA agent. We also had this amazing family of entrepreneurs who also created their own way with the PJ company, PJs for the Culture. Black folk can create businesses just like everybody else. We don't have a shortage of ideas. But unlike many communities, we haven't gotten the investment from the government. We haven't gotten the bank loans. We haven't gotten the broad nation support. And sadly, and sometimes most importantly, we haven't always gotten support from our own internal community. That means black folk, we have a duty to fight to change laws. We got a duty to fight to get stuff in place so that people have all the access necessary to create businesses. But then when the business opens, family, y'all got to be there. As an entrepreneur myself, I got to tell you, this thing only works when y'all show up in support. So if you believe in black business, then make sure that our dollars no longer leave our community faster than any other community in the country after payday. We can't wait to go to somebody else to give us groceries or to do our dry cleaning or to, or, or, or to, or to clean our car or to give us gas or to, or to feed us food. We can do this ourselves, but we got to have an intentional commitment to self-determination. Kujichagalia.